Where is she? You kept her hidden since you had her removed from the tower, but where? Answer me at once. Your sister's alive and well. I don't believe you. Everything you've told me was a lie. Your men have killed her. Nothing but lies, all those promises of yours. You've just used me. I believed that you loved me. And I trusted you. I'm so ashamed. I tell you she's all right. I want to see her. When the time is right, you shall. Immediately. Otherwise, I'll shout it to the whole world that you're a traitor. Even if it should cost me my life. Very well, then. I'll take you to see her. What do you plan to do? To take you to Telema. Didn't you say you wanted to see her? What do you know? Just overheard a conversation your mod had with Tamar and herself. Your Captain General is leader of a conspiracy which throw your throne and to kill you. And the other? The other is daughter of the last king of Babylon, whom you, O oh gracious queen, thanks to your wisdom, did overthrow. If the people knew that in Babylon there is the heir to the king whom you overthrew, they would begin to become superstitious. Besides which, by having her publicly condemned to death, how could this fact be kept secret? What do you propose? My gracious queen, you must know that only two more victories now separate me from acquiring my freedom. Let me fight against Tamar and another whom I shall select, granting me the choice of weapons. Thus, the problem of eliminating this woman without scandal will be solved. And what now, Mr. Laramie? It seems as if Tom Harper was murdered. I have no intention of being the cause of any more bloodshed. Don't you realize your own life is in danger? Who do you figure on selling your mind to, Miss Clementine? What difference does that make? There's only one man in town who can afford to pay you what your mind is worth. And even if you sign a contract, chances are you won't be around long enough to collect that payment. Why, that's, that's ridiculous. Is it? I want you to stay in that house. Tell your men to keep their eyes open and their guns ready. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. <gasps> what are you doing? Put me down. Let's go. Put me down immediately, you... So you're the one who's going to rid us of Pablo Reyes. I'm talking to you, Larry Kitchener. Sorry, Mr. Kitchener. I apologize. That's no more Connor. No, ma. I have every intention of that. Why did you ask me? And have you thought how to get rid of Reyes? At first sight, will you run like our late sheriff? Or maybe sell out for gold to him? You're imagining things, Norma. Since the bandits attacked her ranch, she's been half crazy. Why not tell the truth? I'm as sane as you are. But I don't scare very easy, you see. I'm not a bit scared. I learned to defend myself because I can't rely on any of these cowards. Look at these brave men, Mr. Kitchener. Today they come a-running to line up in front of you. After they shake hands, they'll talk big. Wait and see how many are behind you on the day you try to rid us of Pablo Reyes. I ought to know. On that day, not a one. Not a one lifted a finger to help my husband. And if you don't want to be killed like he was, you'll take to your heels and make off real fast. And leave us to him, to Pablo Reyes. Make a noise and I'll shoot. Come in, make yourself at home. Would you care for a nice cold drink? I'm not joking about this lady. This is my home and I'll thank you to behave like a gentleman. Where's Barnett? Do you really think I'll tell you? I know who you are. Really? You've already robbed and killed two of our men. What else do you want from us? Things didn't exactly happen that way. Since my father tells me the truth, I believe his version. You coward. Then what did he tell you about the cattle and my family? What are you trying to insinuate? Nothing, miss. Everything on the ranch is ours and paid for. With lead. He killed my father and my brothers. Go ahead and ask him if the truth doesn't frighten you. No. And you won't... No, then I'll prove it to you. I don't believe a word you're saying. Listen to me, you brute. You're the first man to abandon me in the middle of the night. Ah, oh, 
I just might have known it would be something like this. You're a fine one, you are. Pat, I've been held up by a very serious matter. I'm depending on your loyalty and friendship to help me. I mean, you're the only one who can get me out of this fix. Well, you sure have a nerve. What? I swear to you, it's serious. My sister's in grave danger. If you would, could you put her up at your place for a few days? Your sister? That's right. My sister. You see, a wild Arabian sheik has been after her. He's tried to kidnap her twice already. Poor Vera. Uh, if I hadn't seen strange things in this world, I'd almost say you were lying. Mm -hmm. uh, you mean she's really your sister? Naturally. Boy, just let me find out you've been lying. I wouldn't lie to you, Pat. Oh, please, sweetheart, promise me you'll protect her. Of course, what'd you expect? If it's any bother, I'll... I'll... It's no bother, what a thing to say. My friend here kept you a secret from me, the brutal thing. Still, who believed the brute had a sister? 